Alright, I'm Ben Cole, and today we'll be learning how to do an axial joint in motion. The first thing you must do when you're doing an axial joint is you must obviously assemble the parts. And if you're doing an axial joint, you have to make sure you do an axial alignment and assembly. Otherwise, when you go into motion, it will not do put in an axial joint for you. I'm going to be moving this part down to the end so you can see it move when I'm in the motion. Alright, after you're all done with your assembly, you can open up the motion and start that. Now, when you first open up motion after assembling an object, the first thing it's going to ask you to do is if you want to put parts into automatically into the moving parts or the base parts and you always want to put them automatically into the parts. You do not want to have to do this yourself. So always click yes. And if you did it right it will automatically give you an axial joint if you axial aligned it. Now you need to open up your first thing and find the joint you need to be changing. Go to your properties of your joint and there will be two options under the motion. There will be translate Z or rotate Z. You want to translate it first and that will make it move the length of the bar. You want to do a displacement transition so you can make it start so you, and then you want it to step so it will start in the beginning of the time and end at the end of the simulation. Your initial value will be zero because it's starting where it is at zero. Your final value will be the amount of millimeters you want it to move. Let's say 50 millimeters. Click check to make it save the motion. Then you can go to rotate Z. This will make the object spin as it moves down. Again, you're going to want to do a displacement and a step. Your initial value will be zero degrees, and your final will be however many degrees you want your object to spin. Let's say 360. Start time is zero, end time of one. Okay. After you're all done with this, you will click OK. Now your motion is saved into your axial joint. Now, in order to watch it, you obviously click and start motion and it will spin as it moves the length that you wanted it to move. But, as you can see from here, it is not moving in the right direction. It moved right through the end of the barbell, which is obviously not possible. So you're going to want to end, cancel the simulation, and go back to edit it. It translated the wrong direction. So what you need to do is you need to change their value from a positive to a negative, and that will make it go from this way to the other direction. Now, when you rerun the simulation, it should move the correct direction and it will spin. If you switch the degree of spin from positive to negative, it will spin the other direction also. And that's all you need to know about axial motion.